Hi folks, my name is Petula, your host, and as March comes in, I bring to you the Agile Principle number three, the one that talks about shorter feedback loops. Deliver working software frequently from a couple of weeks to a couple of months with a preference to the shorter time scale. Replace the word software for product to not get too obsessed with code, but also because Agile has been successfully adopted beyond technology as well. So for this principle, I do find that its beauty sometimes go unnoticed to the trained eye. So let's dissect it a bit. Deliver working software frequently. Back in the 1990s, it could take a few years before the customer would see the software, the product in their hands. Um, and it was not uncommon then they would have defects and uh, asks for change after waiting for so long. I mean, not only the needs and the wishes they would have changed, but you were also conversing and discussing on top of contracts, documents. Words and ideas are all very great, but they are not the same as actually touching the product, seeing the, the, the product in action really functioning, even if it's in a raw state. You can verify the functionality, you can verify quality. I can only give you actionable feedback on actual things, not on ideas. And the principle says regularly, frequently, the importance of constant feedback. Do not develop your product in a vacuum. You develop something for someone. So give that someone a chance to give you their opinion on how it's going. It benefits you as much as it benefits the customer because in the end, it's them that you wanna please. From a couple of weeks to a couple of months. This was shocking 21 years ago. Two months, <gasps> two weeks, oh my God, this is so hard. The sad reality is that even today, some organizations find this challenging. Of course, this is a suggestion of possible timelines and you should see where it all fits for you and your teams and your company. But imagine that you only seek feedback every six months. You have then only two opportunities for feedback and improvement in the whole year. Remember that feedback is learning. You want to learn about the desires of your customer, their taste, their buying habits, um, the applications that integrate or not with your product. In a fast paced world, you do want fast paced inspection and adaption to respond accordingly. Why a preference for a shorter time scale? Remember in school, like every month, sometimes every quarter as well, we have those countless exams and quizzes. Why so often? To avoid the cognitive overload of having to know and test for the material of the whole year. It turns out it's the very same with agile product development. You want to correct and adjust, or you want to continue to do what you're doing because it is working. In either way, you want to learn. And in either case, we always learn best in smaller chunks. Shorter time scales will allow you to see small steps in change. One, it is cheaper because you didn't develop a ton of stuff yet, easier to change. Two, less risky because if you're doing something wrong, I mean, you can catch it pretty quickly, still small. Number three, and it's easier to consume it too, a small bites, small chunks. And we won't be missing or hiding anything because it's actually easy to see what has been added or removed since the last time because, you know, not that much time has passed since the last feedback. Okay, so now you understand the need for shorter feedback loops. What do you do then? Do you start adopting two weeks iterations like every other company is doing these days? You could. It is a common practice these days and the technology allows for that. But here is what I really like to do. Consider what is really the most meaningful and possible for your teams, considering where they are today and their maturity level. Maybe it's two months, maybe be more bold and it's a month, like four weeks. That's fair enough. Then my next question would be, how might you shorten it? 
Putting the question exactly like that implies that there is a way to shorten it. And trust me, there always is. What I've seen a lot is that what gets in the way for you to uh, being able to deliver your working product faster is a bump in the process. A step that no one understands, um, deep hierarchy, red tape, um, poor use even of the technology, not to be uh, not to be ignored. And sometimes I have to say it, it is rethinking your development process in a different way. Well, we used to do it this way. Now we really need to do in this new way. Whatever it is, you have to look into it and commit to clear that. So now you're able to deliver something in one month and you're working hard to reduce, let's say a week from your process. That's amazing. It's a two for one, this process improvement. One, you're getting better. Two, you're satisfying your customer faster. It is really worth it, even if your customer is an internal one. You might notice that strong collaboration makes a huge difference when you're trying to adopt a shorter time scale. Collaboration within the team, collaboration across teams, across the departments, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is something we'll discuss for the next Agile principle. For now, we'll close this one here. If you're feeling really bold, start asking the question, how can we make our iterations shorter? Ask away, ask the team, ask the managers. It's free anyway. And you will start planting the seeds on people's mind. I'll close for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.